She transferred me to him and I left a message. He called me to write back. We came uh, upon a blockage that we saw with the, the camera that we had in the line. We sent him into the manhole and, and he pulled out a clump and he noticed something shiny and it was a ring. The kid that found it actually cleaning out the manhole handed it to me and said, look what I found. And I was, I was like, it looks like an old class ring. Let me clean it up and look. And I found the year and I said, we should post it and see if the owner comes forward. We cleaned it up and we were able to kind of decipher the, the lettering of the inscription on the inside. And uh, after we got it cleaned up enough and we were able to, to get the name off, uh, I started searching on, on the internet. An hour and a half later, he found the guy and a phone number and, and I called him. We found the guy, lives in, uh, I believe, North Carolina. The business address was in Boston. Uh, we contacted him and, and yeah, he said he'd been missing it since 1980. He was here uh, as a civil engineer working on the design of a wastewater treatment facility for Georgia and Alabama. And he lost it approximately two and a half blocks from where we found it. He was floored. He, at first he thought it was a joke. You know, he's like, he's like, no, you gotta be kidding me. And I was like, no sir. And he says, well, and that's when he told me he hadn't seen the ring in 40 years. And uh, he lost it in 1980. Uh, he was amazed, absolutely floored. Yeah. he, he, he you know, never thought he'd see this thing again. It's a, a class ring from 1977. Uh, not only a class ring, but it was a fraternity ring. Uh, so it was very important to him. To be able to give somebody something back, you know, that belonged to them was very special was, you know, it's a good thing.